Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres. This is Wednesday, August 21st, about 8.30, quarter to 9 in the morning. Yeah, I'm out here this early. I'll show you this score I got on these shelves. Uh, after you laugh at me trying to unload, it took two of us to load these. So I'm going to try to unload them myself. I got to get them into the barn here because I have to go to Home Depot tomorrow, pick up all my insulation for the ceiling in the building that's coming. So, I found this deal yesterday. I hadn't planned on getting anything, but it was like, buy it now <laughs> or don't get them. So, I had to come out here by myself this morning to try to unload these, but uh, it was such a deal I could not pass up for metal shelving. Uh, there's three sections I got, two of them's going in the studio for all my displays, and then one's going in the tool shed. But they are super nice, I can't believe I got them. But yeah, I got to get some insulation going, or get it out here. The cost, as I can't get over what's happening, um, or how it's going to stop. I, I wanted six inch insulation. You know, but I've got the three and a half inch. Uh, that's good enough, right? But the two foot wide pieces for the ceiling. Um, 85, 87 a roll. The last time I bought that a few years ago, it was $32 a roll. I mean, the, the 15 and a half inch stuff is 35, $40 a roll. And when I bought it for the cabin, it was like $18 a roll. So there's no rhyme or reason to any of it. Just that's what it costs. Uh, but yeah, it's, you got to have it. <laughs> I just had to work more hours, I guess. Uh, and that's just the cheap fiberglass insulation. I mean, it's, it's back, but you know, I see these people using that rock sole stuff now I would love to be able to afford that shit but that's out of the question that's twice as much as this shit but it'll do the job you know we got to cut corners where we can uh, try to save some money somehow but yeah let me get busy I loaded as I already had already started the video took all the shelves in uh, a couple of lipo batteries I got sent to do a review on it took those in and I moved the camera so I could unload these and the camera said I was unable to write to the card or something. I don't know. So I'm trying it again. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll get some footage this time. I'll be back. I don't know what is going on with my camera. It is just not working. So I carried these shelves in with a recording, nothing. It just goes dead and says it can't write to the card. I put a new card in, does the same stuff. So I'll see if this one works. I'm going to try to see if I can figure out how these shelves go in here now. Stiffen this up some. But these were big metal shelves for $20.
first one. First $20 shelf. Now I can empty this off. I can put a whole lot more in this than these plastic shelves. I was going to build shelves, but when I got these for 20 bucks, it was like a no-brainer. <laughs> and now I can clear this out, clear these all these plastic shelves can go into where the pantry is going to be and the outdoor kitchen and the canning room and all that kind of stuff. Because uh, I've got just enough room to put another one of these right here and everything in here will go in these shelves. It's going to be perfect. Absolutely perfect. It fits everything. Even the chainsaws. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, this is going to be great. There's my doorknobs for every door in the house. Alright, got the other one up the way I wanted it. They aren't the easiest thing in the world to do, but you know what? They're done. Load them up now. <laughs> it really, these only being nine inches deep or so, so much better than those plastic ones. And uh, it leaves me so much more room inside here. Because those things sticking out so far really cramped it up. But I got another one of these plastic shelves to clean off, and that's it. I'm, uh, and I can get everything on there, I just have to arrange things. That's part of uh, getting it all ready. Then I get all my shims out of here. But uh, yeah, 20 bucks a piece for those. I still got one more out there. I, don't think I'm going to use it in here, but if I wanted to, oh yeah, if I wanted to, I don't know if you can see this or not, let me turn you, I don't know, you can see it, now here's an, an idea, I could take this cabinet down, put it over there with the matching one over there, and I can put that third set of metal shelves right across here. And this wall with these shelves would be everything in here. I can put everything up. I may do that. Uh, just take that cabinet out of here. And this wall would be nine feet of this shelving. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to do that. But that will be this weekend's project. One of this weekend's project. Moving the other one in here. Taking that down. I can't stay today of course. Because somebody has to go back and go to work. <laughs> Some of us have jobs. We can't spend every day all day at the homestead doing nothing. Uh, but yeah I think. For 20 bucks a set. There was no way to go wrong. I got the other one to put in there. It's got six shelves. Life is good. You know? Then I can build some shelves up in here uh, if I wanted to. Or I might find another deal like these. You never know. He's got a couple more of them. I might have to go get them. These I like. The other two that he has, they're a little bit deeper. Same size. They're just probably two or three inches deeper. I could get them, put them over here. Looks cool, you know? Anything to get organized. 
I, I have no idea where the other camera cut off at or if even what video is on there footage is usable. I got to figure out what's going on. But there's two shells up. Those two replaced three of these plastic ones so far. And as I rearrange that, this plastic shelf is going to wind up over there as well. And in case I didn't get to mention it on the other one, I'm going to take that cabinet out and put the third set of metal shelves in there. And that way, that whole wall will be metal shelves. And that will be awesome. It just, it makes so much more room inside here. Uh, consolidating that, organizing it, and doing it right. But yeah, the tool shack, getting an upgrade. Anyway, half my tools are in Alex's building right now, so makes it look a little bit better. But, uh... This is Joe out in the tool shack in the barn at St. Bernard Acres. I got to head back to Wheeling so I can go to work. I appreciate y'all watching. I'm out of here.